Hi everyone, it's Danny. Alrighty, today we're gonna discuss about Dendrobium nobili orchids because it is the season for them to start to go into their dormancy. Now my viewer John John asked me how I prepare these orchids to go into their dormancy. Well, first of all, you will notice either at the end of summer, either at the beginning of autumn, that the new canes produced this year will stop growing. Practically, they will not produce any more leaves from the top. Now, at this point, these orchids will not require that much water. If you noticed, during summertime and growth season, they did require a lot, a lot of water, and the canes really shriveled if you missed watering. At this point, the old canes will not start to shrivel as much. Maybe they will start to shrivel just a little bit. That's your cue to still water them, not necessarily soak them, but do provide a little bit more water. In a while, you will notice that they really will not shrivel almost at all. Now, what you need to do when the new canes have stopped growing is first of all, stop fertilizing. Don't use any type of fertilizer anymore for these orchids. Even if you continue to water them, maybe not so frequent, do not use fertilizer. They really don't need it anymore. The second thing you need to do is start to think about where you will keep them so that they benefit from a drop in temperature. If you've kept your orchid inside, it is time to move it outside because the nighttime temperature will start to drop. Now, as the autumn progresses, the temperatures will start to go lower and lower. At this point, you need to water less frequent, depending on what your orchid tells you. As I was mentioning, the old canes will not get very, very shriveled like they used to in the summertime. So at some point, maybe around October or November, I literally water these guys every three weeks or every month or so. And I do not soak them, I just give them a little bit of water running through the pot. This maintains the old canes in good condition because sometimes the canes shrivel a bit too much. You don't want them to shrivel too, too much either. So if you look at the canes that I have now, there are a few wrinkles here and there, but they're not excessively shriveled. So if you see where dendrobium sometimes goes like this, there's no reason for worry, there's no need for water. If it goes more than this, more shriveled than this, yes, give it a little bit of water, even if it's in the dormancy period. Now, you can keep these orchids outside as long as temperatures don't reach freezing level. I usually provide a minimum of 5 degrees Celsius during winter time. After that, if the temperatures go lower than this, I do bring them inside. But at this point, you'll start to notice the little nubbins forming on the new canes. I do have a video on what to do when you see the nubbins and I will post it somewhere on the screen right now so you can click the info card and you can watch that video as well. But for the beginning of autumn, these are practically the things that you need to know. Alrighty, so I hope this video was helpful. If I didn't explain something or you still have questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below and I'll gladly respond and clarify things for you. If you'd like to see more videos from me, simply subscribe to my channel. I post on a daily basis. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchidnature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch these orchids in bloom. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!